Uh, after reading your questionnaire, I feel like I already know you. <laughs> totally. Me too. Excuse me. Can we please get sparkling instead of tap some clean silverware and find out what they're having? That looks delicious. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So, you're an astrophysicist? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, just yes. And, 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 unless you prefer ma'am. I don't. Good, because you don't seem like a ma'am. You seem more like a sweet thing. <laughs> wow. You are not good at this. <laughs> if I was good at this, I wouldn't need to be fixed up by my father. I never thought I'd let my family set me up either, but I'm 34, I'd like to have kids, and it's hard to date because I work so much. Oh, yes, sir. You're a concierge. For now. Mm. I plan to be managing a hotel in the next five years. Four, if I can get the current manager out of the way. He's a smoker, so fingers crossed. <laughs> I, yeah, I get it. You know, um, I used to have a long list of what I wanted from a wife. Uh, eyes like Sandra Bullock. Hair like Sandra Bullock. And the bravery of Ryan Stone, that Sandra Bullock's character in Gravity. But now I, I just want someone nice. I think I'm nice. Are you nice? Oh, I'm definitely nice. Every time a girl breaks up with me, she always starts with, you're a nice guy. Look, your whole sweet, insecure thing is cute. But honestly, I have no time for that. If you're not serious about this, you need to walk away now. I, I am serious. Good. Okay. <laughs> I mean, okay, what, 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 what does this mean? I think it means I might be the future Mrs. Kutrapali. How would you feel if I didn't change my name? A little hurt, but you wouldn't know because I'm too nice. <laughs> I told my parents our first date went well and they got very excited. Ah, tell me about it. My parents were so thrilled they actually spoke to each other. <laughs> so that was a disaster. <laughs> Cheers. <clears throat> okay. I guess if we're going forward with this wedding, we should talk about the next steps. Oh, like themes and flowers? Actually, finances and taxes. Oh, uh, we can't use that. That was the theme of my parents' divorce. <laughs> I know that money can be a source of friction in a new marriage, and I want us to avoid that. Of course, yeah, right. That's uh, uh, smart. So my accountant feels strongly that we should file separately the first year, and then we can reevaluate based on our joint assets. You okay? No, I can't do this. Why not? Th there's something you may not know about me, because, you know, we've only met once, but... I'm a hopeless romantic. And you seem great, and I do want to get married. I, I do want to settle down, but... This isn't the story that I want to tell my grandkids. I understand. I'm so sorry if I wasted your time. Raj. I know we don't know each other very well, but you seem like you'd make a good father. And you're tall enough so I can wear heels. And I think that's something worth fighting for. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, yes, of course, of course, I'll marry you! If you'd like to kiss me, you can. Oh, great. I should warn you, I have a tongue piercing. Oh, you're not that nice. 